Okay, so welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing the Western blot. Okay, so we've now got our proteins transferred off our polyacrylamide gel onto either our polyvanillidine uh, fluoride membrane, our PVDF membrane, or our nitrocellulose membrane. Okay. Now, what we need to do is basically saturate this membrane. We need to basically coat it in another protein that means that all of the protein binding sites that this membrane has are occupied, basically. They're saturated, and no other protein can just bind to it arbitrarily. Because remember, we want to stop the anti-protein A antibody from just being able to bind to this membrane. We want to make it so that the only way it can bind to the membrane is through binding to the denatured protein A, which is in turn bound to the membrane. To do that, we now need to saturate this membrane by coating it in another protein that will mean that all of the protein binding sites effectively are uh, used up, basically, on the uh, nitrocellulose or PVDF membrane. Okay, so this stage is what's known as blocking. Okay, uh, so we're going to make up a buffer to do this in, a blocking buffer. Okay, and basically the blocking buffer uh, uses something known as TBST. Okay, and TBST is based on TBS. So we're going to start off with what is TBS, and then we'll talk about what TBST is, and then we'll talk about making our blocking buffer. Okay, so TBS is something that you'll see all the time if you're working in a laboratory. It stands for tris buffered saline. Okay, and basically it contains two major ingredients. Tris and salt, okay? So salt in water is then called saline. So I suppose you could say it contains three major ingredients, water, salt, and tris. So we'll start off with the one that you probably, well, you maybe haven't heard of, which is tris. Tris is short for tris hydroxymethyl amino methane, which is a ridiculously uh, long name for a molecule that is actually extremely simple. So tris hydroxymethyl amino methane. So let me draw out the structure of tris hydroxymethyl amino methane to convince you of its um, how simple it is. So basically, we'll start off with the amino methane. That means that we have a one carbon molecule, the methane, uh, with an amino group off. So here's the amino group off a single carbon. That's the amino methane. Now, usually, if we were just talking about amino methane, this carbon would now have three hydrogens coming off it. But we're not just talking about amino methane. We're talking about tris hydroxymethyl amino methane. So instead of having three hydrogens coming off this carbon, you instead have three, that's the tris, uh, hydroxymethyl groups, and basically a hydroxymethyl group consists of a methylene group with then an alcohol group coming off it, like so. Okay, and then you'll have this three times, so I'll draw another one down here. Here's a methylene group with an alcohol group coming off, and then finally another methylene group with an alcohol group coming off. Okay, so this is tris hydroxymethyl amino methane, or just tris for short. So, um, basically, this is going to be one of the major uh, components of, tr of tris buffered saline. So the concentration of tris that you want in tris buffered saline is around 20 millimolars. Okay, right, so let's now talk about the other key component of tris buffered saline you'll want sodium chloride. So the ionic compound uh, where you have sodium cations bound to chloride anions. So here's a sodium cation, and then we have a chloride anion here. Okay, and the concentration of sodium chloride that you want within tris is around 137 millimolar. Okay, right, so that's what tris buffered saline is. It's water with salt, and also tris, and the concentration of salt is 137 millimolar, and the concentration of tris is around 20 millimolar. Now, to turn tris into, sorry, to turn TBS, tris buffered saline, into tris buffered saline with tween, that's what this extra T is for, it means with tween. So it's TBS with tween. Okay, what you have to do is you have to add tween. 
Okay, so what you will do is you'll add uh, something known as tween 20. Okay, and usually TBST contains 0.1% at uh, tween 20. So tween 20, if you go to the shelf and find tween 20, it's already as a, as a liquid, basically. Okay, whereas sodium chloride and triers, they're both solid. So what you'd have to do is get your water and dissolve these in the water, basically, to make a TBS solution. To make a TBST solution, what you'd do is you'd take mainly TBS and then you'd add in 0.1% tween 20. So, for instance, if you wanted to make, let's say, 200 milliliters of TBST, what you would do is 0.1% of that volume would have to be tween 20. Okay, so what is 0.1% of 200 milliliters? Well, 1% is 2 milliliters, 0.1% is 0.2 milliliters, 200 microliters, basically. So you take 0.2 milliliters of tween 20, okay, and then you take um, the rest of it would then just be tris buffered saline. So the other 199.8 milliliters would then be uh, tris buffered saline TBS. So that's how you would make uh, a tris buffered saline with tween 20, if you like, uh, TBST. Now, TBST is not what you're going to use as your blocking buffer. It's part of it, but you have to add the most important component, which is the uh, protein that you're actually going to use to block uh, the membrane, to saturate all the binding sites on the membrane. Now, uh, you can use milk, basically, to do this, because there are uh, a lot of proteins within milk. However, the one that's more commonly used is a little bit more uh, macabre, okay? So instead of milk, cow's milk, instead you use cow's blood. So instead you use bovine serum albumin, okay? So this doesn't look like cow's blood when you actually see it. It's a white powder. So basically it's protein that is extracted from cow's blood. It's the albumin protein that's extracted from cow blood. Okay, so bovine serum albumin is usually abbreviated to BSA. Now basically what you're going to do is you're going to make up a 5% uh, BSA solution basically for uh, this blocking okay so what you will do is uh, you will use TBST okay so basically five percent of the volume will be BSA and then the rest of it will be tris buffered saline with tween uh, 20 basically so what you'll do is say you want to create let's say 10 milliliters of blocking buffer what you will need is 5% of this will need to be bovine serum albumin. Now, bovine serum albumin is uh, a solid, basically. So, what you will need is you'll need 0.5 milliliters of it and what to be a bovine serum albumin. And what you will equate that to is 0.5 grams because one gram of water is equal to one milliliter. So that's the logic in this, basically. So if you want 5% um, bovine serum albumin, what that means is that you'll take the volume that you want to create, you'll find 5% of it, and then you will convert milliliters to grams, basically, because if we were dealing with water, then 0.5 milliliters would be 0.5 grams. Of course, we're not dealing with water, we're dealing with bovine serum albumin, but that's the logic in this. Okay, so you take 0.5 grams of bovine serum albumin, you then make up the rest of the volume with this tris buffered saline with tween 20, basically. So you take up the volume to 10 milliliters with TBST. Okay, and we'll continue this discussion in the next video.